Have you ever wondered why some people seem to radiate an inner light, while others carry the weight of the world on their shoulders? Have you ever noticed how your posture and movements can reflect your mood and your connection to the world? And have you ever felt strange sensations of a spiritual nature, a sort of call of the unknown? Have you ever felt a change in your body, an inexplicable feeling of transformation, as if you were blossoming into something new? What if we told you that these changes could be linked to a spiritual journey, an inner awakening that is affecting not only your mind, but also your physical body? If you stick around to the end of this Zen story, you'll discover how a group of pilgrims seeking enlightenment faced unexpected physical changes during their spiritual journey. You will discover three specific physical changes that indicate you are experiencing a spiritual awakening. And you will hear the words of an elderly Buddhist monk who reveals the secrets of these changes and offers guidance for embracing them as an integral part of a path to awakening. Finally, you will understand if you too are going through or have gone through certain changes on the physical plane. But before continuing, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications so that you are informed when we publish new content for your spiritual growth. The sun was setting behind the snow-capped peaks of Mount Fiji, painting the sky a deep orange that faded to soft pink. A group of pilgrims, tired but inspired by their spiritual journey, had gathered around an old Buddhist monk, the Venerable Tetsuo. His face, lined with wrinkles that spoke of years of meditation and wisdom, was illuminated by a gentle smile, like the reflection of the moon on a placid lake. Dear friends, Tetsuo began in a calm and melodious voice, which seemed to vibrate with the very energy of the mountain, your spiritual path is a journey of discovery, of transformation, of awakening. It is a path that is not limited to the mind and spirit, but also involves your physical body, your earthly temple. Many of you have told me about strange and unexpected physical changes you have experienced during your awakening. Don't worry, these changes are natural. They are signs that your body is aligning with your spiritual growth, like a flower blooming in the morning sun. The pilgrims listened attentively, their faces marked by curiosity and hope, like children listening to an ancient story. Tetsuo continued, The first change I want to tell you about is your weight. Some of you may have noticed rapid weight loss, as if you've shed an invisible burden. Others may have experienced a temporary boost, as if the body was storing energy for a new start. This is not always due only to the diet you adopt, but to the release of stagnant energy and the energetic rebalancing that occurs during awakening. Your body is literally shedding the weight of the past, both physically and emotionally, like a tree shedding its leaves in autumn to prepare for the new spring. Among the pilgrims, a young woman named Sakura nodded slowly, tears streaming down her face. She had noticed an inexplicable weight loss in recent weeks and now understood that it was connected to her spiritual journey, to her pain over the loss of her husband, a pain that she now felt melting like snow in the sun. Tetsuo continued, The second change concerns your physical appearance. You may notice that your skin becomes brighter, as if illuminated by an inner light. Your eyes may appear brighter, like stars reflecting the vastness of the universe. Your most graceful movements, as if you were engaged in an extraordinary and fascinating dance with life itself. This is because your body is eliminating toxins and cleansing itself on a cellular level, like a river flowing away, carrying impurities with it. You are literally radiating the light of your soul, like a lighthouse guiding sailors to safety. An older man, named Hiroshi, smiled. His wrinkles seemed less deep, his eyes shone with a new light. He'd noticed his skin looking younger and more radiant lately, and now he understood why. It was as if his body was rejuvenating along with his spirit, like an old tree putting out new shoots. Tetsuo continued, The third change concerns your posture and movements. You may find that you are moving with greater grace and awareness, as if each step were a prayer. 
you may find that your posture is more upright and confident, like a mountain braving the storms. Well, you should know that this is the result of a greater alignment between body, mind, and spirit. You are embodying your inner truth, like an actor playing the role of his life. The pilgrims remained silent for a few moments, reflecting on Tetsuo's words, as if they were absorbing the wisdom that emanated from him like a delicate perfume. Then, one after another, they began to share their personal experiences, telling how they had noticed these changes in their bodies and how they interpreted them. There were those who spoke of a sensation of lightness, as if you were floating on air. Those who spoke of dreams that were more vivid and meaningful than ever, as if they were receiving messages from another world. Some described a greater sensitivity to colors and sounds, as if the senses had awakened to a new dimension of reality. Tetsuo listened attentively to the stories of the pilgrims, nodding and smiling, like a father listening to the stories of his children. And between stories, he offered words of encouragement and wisdom, like a teacher guiding his students along the path of knowledge. Remember, he said in a voice that rang like a bell in the silence of the evening, that these physical changes are only an outward manifestation of a much deeper transformation that is taking place within you. Embrace these changes, trust the process, and continue your spiritual path with courage and confidence. Remember that your personal growth, your inner peace, your emotional balance, and your mental well-being are closely connected to your spiritual growth. Continue to cultivate your spirituality and your body will follow you as a shadow follows the body that casts it. The pilgrims thanked Tetsu for his wisdom and retired for the night, bringing with them a renewed sense of peace and understanding, like a precious treasure to be treasured. The next day, they resumed their spiritual journey with renewed vigor, knowing that their bodies were invaluable allies on their journey to awakening. Over the next few days, they continued to reflect on Tetsuo's teachings, trying to integrate Buddhist wisdom into their daily lives, like a weaver weaving colorful threads to create a beautiful tapestry. They engaged in meditation and mindfulness practices, like a gardener tending his inner garden, and they tried to cultivate inner peace and emotional balance, like a farmer sowing the seeds of happiness. Sakura, the young woman who had noticed weight loss, began practicing yoga, finding that these exercises helped her connect more deeply with her body and release built-up tension. He realized that his body was a sacred temple, a vehicle for his spiritual growth, and began to treat it with greater respect and care, as a precious treasure to be treasured. Hiroshi, the elderly man who had noticed the improvement in his skin, began to pay more attention to his diet and lifestyle, like a craftsman who chooses the best materials for his work. He eliminated processed foods and sugar from his diet and began taking long walks in nature every day, like an explorer discovering new territory. He realized that his body was a precious gift and that by taking care of it, he was honoring his life and his spiritual journey like a musician tuning his instrument to create a harmonious melody. The pilgrims continued their journey, encountering new challenges and new opportunities for growth, like a river flowing to the sea, overcoming obstacles and creating new paths. Along their journey, they remembered Tetsuo's words and forced themselves to embrace the physical changes they were experiencing. And they saw them as positive signs of their spiritual evolution, like a caterpillar turning into a butterfly. Dear friends, Tetsuo said during a new meeting with his pilgrims, your spiritual journey is a journey of discovery, of transformation, of awakening. It is a journey that requires courage, perseverance, and trust but it will be worth it in the end. And always remember that the physical changes you are experiencing are a sign that you are progressing on your path, that you are opening your heart to the light of truth. Embrace these changes, trust the process and continue walking with courage and determination. The monk spoke to them about the importance of listening to one's body, honoring its needs and respecting its limits, 
like a captain listening to the sea's signals to navigate safely. He encouraged them to practice kindness towards themselves and others, like a gardener who waters flowers with love. He invited them to cultivate gratitude for every moment of life, like a poet who celebrates the beauty of the world. The pilgrims stayed with Tetsuo for several days, learning from him the art of meditation, contemplation, and mindful presence, like apprentices learning an ancient craft. They listened to his stories and parables, which were like seeds planted in the fertile soil of their minds, destined to germinate and bear fruit. One day, the monk took them to the top of a hill. Look, he said, pointing to the horizon, the beauty of the world is a reflection of the beauty that is within you. Cultivate this beauty, nourish it with love and compassion, and your light will shine ever more intensely, illuminating your path and the path of those around you. The pilgrim's journey, like every true spiritual journey, had no real end. They continued to walk to learn to grow, carrying with them the wisdom they acquired and the awareness that body and spirit are intrinsically linked. And their story teaches us that spiritual awakening is not an isolated event, but a continuous process of transformation that involves every aspect of our being. It shows us that our body is not an obstacle, but a precious ally on our journey towards self-realization. It reminds us that every change, even the physical one, can be an opportunity for growth and a deeper connection with ourselves and with the world around us. It invites us to embrace our humanity with all its imperfections and mysteries and to recognize the beauty and sacredness that reside in every cell of our body. And above all, it teaches us that the spiritual path is a journey worth taking, a journey that takes us towards inner peace, authentic happiness, and the realization of our full potential.